You're stuck. You're stuck. Let me help you. Just helping you, bud. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Here. Let me get it off of there for you. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Let me get that. Let me get your wing. Hey. Stop trying to peck at me. There we go. Good boy. Hey, hey. I know. I know. You're not used to it anymore. Yeah, feisty boy. Sure, keep going for it. Well, hello everybody. I was going to adjust the camera, but I don't think I should at the moment. This is Hey Hey. I want to tell you a little bit about him uh, by request from Sean at the Modern Yeoman. Again, I'll leave a link down below to his page. But this is Hey Hey. He uh, was purchased by a neighbor and friend of mine for uh, his kids. Uh, Girl Scout troop to do a project with chickens and they thought he was a girl and he turned out to not be a girl and by a series of unfortunate events he was the only one left and since I was started doing chickens out here at the farm uh, their owner asked me if I could take on the charge and, and bring him here to have some ladies to hang out with because he was alone you know chickens don't necessarily do well by themselves do you buddy well, everything went well until the next winter, and uh, the barn door here accidentally got left open uh, during a snowstorm, and he was, I think, protecting some younger chickens, uh, because I found them behind him doing fine, just, you know, blocked by the wind and whatnot. But he had some frostbite on his feet, so I took him back to the house in town. I know, you good boy. You good boy. Oh, I know, you're not happy, huh? And well, we could not save his feet. Due to frostbite, they did fall off. You could probably see him down there. I'm going to try to not move him too much. Yeah, you see what they're doing, huh? But they both of his feet came off naturally. I have felt a little bit of anxiety sharing that with you. Uh, because, you know, could I have taken him to the vet? Yes. But at the same time, there it was going to be a, you know, there's only so much they could do at the same time as well. And I guarantee they would recommend putting him down. And well, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't put you down, bud, huh? And he'd follow me around. After he lost his feet, he does favor one leg over the other. Yeah. But he's a good boy. Him and Honey have raised a few babies, which uh, Karen and Grace are some of them. Yes, we got some pretty babies. Little Mister is also a chicken from that clutch as well that we hatched last year. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, feisty boy. I'm going to put you back in a second, okay? Yeah, he runs around like a champ. He just needs, you know, a buddy during the winter time to snuggle with. He's nice and hefty. He's definitely protective. He likes following people around because he grew up as a pet. So I'm trying to not necessarily take that out of him. But he's certainly acquired quite a few barnyard skills since he's arrived. So Sean, this is Hey Hey. He's my disabled chicken. Uh, it seems that we have quite a few uh, animals here that need uh, a little extra help. I don't know. I think I'm okay with that. I know I need some extra special care sometimes, so I suppose I can try and give it to some chickens as well. Uh-huh, ladies. I figure. Get out of there, buff. Honey's going to kick your butt. Well, looks like I've got to go get those ladies out of their cage because Honey is not happy. And I'm going to put this guy back and say thank you for watching the Upper Gardener channel. From me, from Hey Hey, from all of the animals, from Mom and Bob, everybody who helps me out so I can do these videos. Thank you all so much, very much for watching. And we all hope you have a wonderful day.
Ready to go? I bet. All right, let's walk this way. Let's walk this way. We'll be nice. We'll go slow, okay? We'll go slow. Honey, you're going to have to go back in your crate. 